Finally tonight, we hear so many random sounds in the course of a day, most barely register. But one simple sound, off in the distance, had the power to turn a man's life around. Steve Hartman met him on the road. The sound of a metal bat on a leather ball is so ubiquitous in America, most of us would never think twice about it. But a couple years ago, across the street from Arlington High School in Riverside, California, a man named Donnie Edison heard that sound from his back door. And it changed everything. That pain kind of sound. It like triggered something. It just, it, it gave me hope. A few weeks earlier, at the age of 36, Donnie suffered a stroke that destroyed pretty much the whole right half of his brain. When he got home from the hospital, he could get around in a wheelchair, but found little reason to get off the couch. Until he heard that ping. That saved my life. Donnie told his wife, Natalia, take me to that batting practice. I say, okay. So we load up the wheelchair and we, we come down. And that was a one-time thing? No. <laughs> Hardly. That became everything. That became... Going to batting practice. Just going to batting practice. To watch. Yeah. Never mind that he didn't have a kid on the team. Never mind that it wasn't even his alma mater. He just liked baseball that much. Just, I guess, the love of the game. At first it was kind of weird. It was like, oh, who's this guy? But then we just kind of just, we got used to him there. So used to him, the coach eventually asked Donnie to be his assistant, which gave Donnie a purpose he'd never known before. See, prior to the stroke, Donnie worked as a bartender. He had no real direction. Coaching changed that. He learned to walk again. He enrolled in college and is now studying to be a special ed teacher. Yeah, high five. He volunteers at Arlington, working with the special ed kids both in the classroom You're doing great. and on the baseball field, where he has introduced them to the joys of wiffle ball. There's nothing like seeing these kids just run and smile and just having fun. Oh! In fact, his life has changed so much, Donnie now says he's actually thankful he had that stroke. Thankful. Thankful that this happened. Because if this didn't happen, I would just be doing the same daily grind that I was, you know, just going to work every day to pay my mortgage, you know. <laughs> There's no sweeter sound than a found purpose. Or at least, not many. Steve Hartman, on the road, in Riverside, California. That is the CBS Evening News tonight. Scott is back on Monday and on 60 Minutes Sunday. I'm Jeff Glor. I'll see you on the Sunday Evening News. Good night.